A1, and he's in a relentless set, so he could go ham right now, which he is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine debuffs, but maybe not at the best time. No, almost. But we don't have lifesteal, so... Oh, God, we can't... Come on, get more. Get more. There it is. We won. Woo! Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome back to Uncommon Stew. I just want to update you guys all on my account and how much progress I've done since the last video you've seen. Right now, if you look at my missions, we're at 160. I think that's pretty far for an uncommon account. And then we've got Clan vs. Clan that just started. We have two days on Clan vs. Clan, so I'm really hoping to get all those chickens again. Give me all these three-star chickens. I'm pretty sure we can do this. The clan is very active. We've got all these uncommon members. They seem to be logging in every day and doing really well. Uh-oh, one day, one day old. And you remember the last CVC we had, there were a whole bunch of people that looked like they couldn't, that they didn't participate. But the thing was, is they were too new to participate. Now everybody can actually do something. So when I look at the clan, and how well everyone's doing for our members, I better see everyone bringing in some points. It's free to play, so we can't spin, but we can do all of our daily grind. Let's look at the challenge here. I have energy, energy, so much energy I've saved up. Of course, I have energy here that I've been saving, but I'm not going to use this. I'm going to wait for a fusion. It's free to play account. You got to play smart. Play your free to play smart. Save for the fusion. I've got a new one right here. We'll save that for the fusion. Let's pick up this. So last time you saw me, missions wise, we were nowhere near 160. Here is a few days ago. This is a recording you're looking at right now. If you look over my shoulder, you'll see two hours and 18 minutes. That way, right there. Two hours and 18 minutes that I recorded once the void keep opened. I needed the void keep open to get those void pots, a superior void pot, which takes quite a long time. Once I got that void pot, I was able then to knock out all the rest. I had to ascend somebody to fifth ascension, which we did that with the cold heart I pulled a long time ago. So cold heart is now fifth ascended, ready to be fed. She's a five star, ready to be fed into someone else because we can't use heroes like that that we summon. The last thing I need to do is fuse, and I had all my fusion ready to go, so I threw them in there. We did the fusion, and we got another sacred shard. So it's been moving along really nicely. I'm really enjoying my uncommon account. I play it all day, every single day. I will say that Tag Team Arena has still been a pain in the jewels to go through there. It is very difficult to do Tag Team Arena and face teams that I can beat, that anyone can beat. Because when you're down this low, I'm at 26 days right now. I can't be expected to have, you know, all these six stars like these people have at 300. I mean, look at this team. I can't be expected at the lowest bracket in Tag Team Arena to have teams like this. It's just not going to happen. For anybody out there, even if you're a mega whale, you might have the heroes, but you're not going to have the gear by then. 20 something days i don't know it depends if you're a crazy crazy whale and you buy packs for gear as well sure you can compete but free to play low spender is not going to compete with this we need another tag team bracket a much much lower one to where it's only the the brand new people for a month and then after that month we go into a different shard right a different realm to where all the new people play together for a good month and then after that month we get thrown in here with everybody else because right now me finding good teams i hope with cvc yeah okay cvc makes it easier because people want to put they want to drop down so we get easy battles and we get really good fast cvc runs to get points so this is nice i'm glad cvc is here because i'm also i just did that one fusion but i'm also done or i will be able to fuse broad mall once I get these guys to 100, and I think they're both at 70. Where are you? There's the Broad Mall. I've got all these already done. I could actually make these right now. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. So we'll make those. And then if I come over here to the Fragment Fusions, so three more days, if I can get enough gold bars daily, 
enough good fights. Three more days and we can have Broad Mall. That's gigantic. Broad Mall already. We're up to 160 something in the missions. And then we're going to have High Katoon in four days. I don't know what I'm going to do with High Katoon. That's, that's huge. I mean, Broad Mall is huge for this account too. But High Katoon, I need a lead. I have no lead at all. No aura. I'll finally have 19% speed, right? And then I'll have a speed increase. And if I get lucky enough, all I have to do is hit one book to get that cooldown I need right here. If I have just the absolute most luck, I don't need this. I don't need this one. Just one into here would be so good. And 19% speed. This is going to help me everywhere because I've got uncommons. I'm going to be rolling now with something better. We've been, we've been just, like I said, progressing like crazy. Let me see. Let me show you the heroes I have so far. We've got the 60 here, 60 War Chanter. You've probably seen them before. I'm bringing up this rare, Spy Master. This is a rare I earned during Fusion Event. We can only use rares we earn during a Fusion. That's it. Since we wanted to play more with our uncommons and commons, right? If we were able to play with those rares, we just have an account full of rares and we'd look like everybody else. We don't want that. We want to be forced to do as many uncommons as possible and then blend in over time these rares that we get from the fusions, which we're not going to have a fusion this month. So it's going to be really hard on us. And then any kind of epic like High Katoon that I'm about to get and Broad Mall that I'm about to make. And I don't know who I'm going to make as my next 60. This guy is actually doing some good damage and he can do block buffs, which is really strong. I could really use him going through the tower. Don't really need him anywhere else, but the tower, he would be really good. And I need some more damage on the clan boss. Another outlaw monk. I know. I don't know. Another outlaw monk would do some serious, serious damage, but I do need somebody to help me out going through waves. This guy would help me along with War Chancer. And then I need some damage when I get to the boss as well. And this guy puts Counter Attack on. And then if he has War Master procs, we could get some more damage. Of course, I do want to take him to 60. I just don't know if I want to do it right now. An amazing unit. I mean, this guy, even on normal accounts, people take him to 60. He's worth it. We lock out his second ability and a lot of content we do, especially like the Spider. We do turn meter reduction. He's going to help me against bosses in the Doom Tower. So I will make him very soon along with Zephyr Sniper sometime. And then I've got to look at the other uncommons because I can't use stuff like this. I need, I need some healing. I need some legit healing in the game, but there aren't that many uncommons that can get some good shields up or healing. So it makes it difficult. That's why I'm using the two commanders here. You see all the people that are participating and doing this uncommon challenge. All the rules are on my Discord. There's a channel dedicated to it. It's really not easy. Before we go, though, I want to run through a full auto of Dragon 13 to get us five and six star gear. Now, I did run through here before. And it was... It was easy the first couple runs you saw. And I thought it was really cool that I was able to do it with uncommons. I didn't even have this rare in here with me. We did a full auto Dragon 13 a couple times. What was really neat is seeing somebody comment saying that they have a couple legendaries and a lot of 60s and they still aren't able to beat Dragon 13 to get that five and six star gear because that's like the big hurdle in the game. And if that's the case, they just don't have probably the speed needed. I don't know if they're having issues in the waves or if they're having issues on the dragon, but I do understand where they're coming from. It's difficult. 13 is a big jump from 12 and it can be very hard to get through here and then extremely hard to beat the dragon. When the dragon inhales, has all that purple bar, it's hard to beat it for a lot of accounts, even if they have cool champions or they have legendaries. Maybe they, maybe they don't have great legendaries. We don't know. They didn't tell me in the comment what, heroes they had but i can understand it being hard and it felt kind of good that i was able to do it with all uncommons in my last video and it's not good that they couldn't do it it's not like i'm happy that they can't and i can it's just interesting and i think the thing is speed it's all about speed i don't know if they're using speed boots and trying to get as much speed as possible but to beat the dragon 200 speed is where it's at because the dragon is always at 100 speed are we going to lose my boy here I don't know if we're going to beat this or not. Let's see. 
without that, uh, without those Warmaster additional procs, sometimes I have issues doing full auto on Dragon 13 if I don't select units. If I just let my people hit whatever they want, they work forever on this guy right here. Why don't you just go kill these Hordens? You know, you got a chance to stun these Hordens. You got a chance to wrap them up. We got two chances to stun them. Again, they're going after Terrell, which, you know, after Terrell did his move, who really cares now? No big deal. <laughs> I don't know. The AI is, is bonkers when it goes through here. So they need to pay attention. Speed. Back to speed. Look, guys, you need speed in this game. Speed is everything in PvE content. It's really good in PvP content, as you know. You just want speed. You always want speed boots. You want to go two times to the enemies one time at least. It makes it much easier to get through any content coming up in raid. At in game, there are teams and there are comps where you don't need speed, where you just drop waves, you drop waves, you have it set up. We understand that, but coming up in this game, speed is so massive, but the game doesn't tell you that. The game doesn't the game doesn't emphasize getting speed boots at all, and they never tell you Try to go much, much faster than the enemy. Obviously, when I have High Katoon in here with the speed lead, I won't have these issues anymore. We're going to be rotating through our skills, shrugging off debuffs faster, getting up our debuffs on them faster, and then taking more turns. And it's going to make all of this easier. Even High Katoon is weak affinity for this dragon, but that's okay. It won't matter. Her, her aura will still be there at 19% speed, and... I don't know if he's at 200 speed now. He should be at 200 speed, so he's going to take two turns to the Dragons, one turn. Plus, he gets all his additional turns from his A1, and he's in a Relentless set, so he could go ham right now, which he is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine debuffs, but maybe not at the best time. We need nine up when the Dragon roars up. Like right now, we don't need nine up when he's not. And we're, we're going to die. We're dead. No, almost. But we don't have lifesteal, so... Oh, oh, God, we can't... Come on, get more. Get more. There it is. We won. Woo! Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Usually, it's much smoother than that. It really is. A five and six star gear on 13. That's my account so far. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your time and your support. Please subscribe if you haven't, guys. And I will see you all in a video soon.